Hello friends, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Powers of the Prime, Legends Class, Battle Slash, and Road Trap. If you didn't know, these two figures do actually combine into Battle Trap, which is awesome! We're going to go ahead and take a look at Battle Slash first. He is a very cool little helicopter. A little bit of robot kibble going on, but I could totally forgive it. The only thing I really hate about the figure in this mode is this giant gaping hole in the front of the helicopter. I don't like that. That's just me being picky, though. Nothing folds up or in to cover that up. Oh, well. Propeller does work, sort of. But overall, it's a pretty decent helicopter mode. You could take a Titan's Master or one of the other Prima or Prime cores and plug it into the back like this. There is a little plug area, and it could just rest on the back of the vehicle mode like that. Now, taking a look at Road Trap, the truck mode from the front looks really good, and from the side it looks pretty good, even though it's slightly mistransformed. But from the back it looks pretty bad. I'm actually not sure if I have this transformed correctly, because the directions are very difficult to read. It's that typical, well, let's use dark red on very dark gray and make it really small. I do like the overall look, though, and it does remind me of the original G1 com or Duocon section. You can, again hold either a Titans Titans Master or one of the Prime guys up here on the top. It works better with a Titans Master simply because of the pegs that you could peg into the bottom of the legs like that, which looks really, really stupid. Battle Slash's transformation into robot mode is actually much more complex than I originally thought it was going to be. Start off with come to the front of the nose and flip it all the way up. Next, come to the back, unpeg the ro rear rotors and rear fuselage. They come to the rotor section, main rotor section, unpeg it from itself, and then fold it down all the way underneath the vehicle mode. Then you can take the rear of the vehicle mode, flip that all the way around, fold that all the way down, and they these sections, these black sections, will peg together to form the crotch of the, of the robot. Fold the rotors down, and these little points will point forward and fold up, and we want to make sure that they're pointed in the right direction, like that, and stand the figure up. Take the arms, fold them back, flip the shoulders around to the front of the robot mode, and they will fold back and peg into this little peg right back behind where the head is. Oh, and before we peg those in, open up the chest area where the Decepticon symbol is, flip out the robot head, and then fold it up, and then flip the shoulders back. Here we have Battle Slash in robot mode, who is really little, a little cool little bot. Very, very cool. Posability wise, ball joint in the shoulder, ball joint in the elbow, hinge joint there, no torso articulation, hips can kick forward that much, cannot kick back that far, but can kick out way far, ball joint in the knee, and that's all the posability. So you can pull off some decent poses. You end up with this little dude who has a propeller on his arm that still can spin, but will slow down eventually. And the head sculpt is quite good. It's menacing. It has dark red eyes, silver face, white head. I like it a lot. Next up is Road Trap, who has an actually much easier transformation. Come to the back, push the back of the vehicle mode all the way up until it pegs into place. Reach underneath and flip out the head like that. Then come to the rear wheel and unpeg the rear wheel from the bottom of the vehicle mode, and then that pushes the front wheel forward, and do that on both sides. Unpeg it, and then flip the rear wheel section to the top of the vehicle mode, and those will be the arms, I guess obviously. Then on the section just below the robot head, push forward, and that will free this entire section of the back of the vehicle mode, and then you can fold it up and peg it into place just beneath the robot head. Then come to the knees of the vehicle mode and kind of pull back. That will allow you to unpeg, or pull down, I should say, unpeg the front windscreens, and then those will slide forward and up. And you can flip the tires back down, and there we have the, or the robot mode, which looks really nice. That looks like a really cool little Legends class figure. I like it. I think it looks beefy and strong and just looks like you punch somebody. Head is on a swivel, forward and back, or side to side. Shoulder, ball joint, ball joint in the elbow, ball joint in the hip, 
can't get back that far, can't kick forward that far, can't get out that far. Ball joint in the knee, and there is a little bit of art articulation, extra articulation there in the knee and in the joint here that connects the rear or the front of the vehicle mode to the foot. And then there is the tire that can actually extend out and flip out like that to give you like an extra heel. And boy, does he have some heels. Look at those things. So a very, very cool robot mode with an equally awesome head sculpt. That head sculpt looks like an, an that head sculpt looks like an uber evil sound wave for some reason. I like it a lot. On their own, both of these Legends class figures are freaking awesome. They're just great little Legends class figures. And unfortunately, they are sold separately. I would have loved to have seen them sold together because, well, they combine. They combine into Battle Trap, which is cool. Now, Legends class is, as, I've, as we know, half the size of a Deluxe class figure. No getting around that. But, as we already know, they are more than the sum of their parts. They're another robot in disguise. Starting with Road Trap, we're going to go ahead and kind of return him to half the transformation back into vehicle mode. So take the arms and return them to the way they were for the vehicle mode, like that. Oops. Make sure they're all nice and pegged in, like that. And then take the chest and pop it apart and slide it down the robot body length to where it was when we were going to transform it into vehicle mode. And it helps if you just split it apart immediately and then just fold it down. Now, you can see the hinges there. And then that's pretty much it. That's all we're gonna do for him for the combined mode. Just make sure that the heels are out of the way and everything lines up right. And then he'll just stand up like this and become the most car-like pants mode ever. Now, Battle Slash's transformation is much more complex. To start off with, we're going to first unpeg the shoulders, fold them forward, flip the little robot chest down, and then flip out or flip in the head, close that up, come to the back of the figure, open it up, and flip out the giant robot head, and then close that up. Then keeping the shoulders of the little robot mode pulled all the way back, take the hips, flip them up, and then collapse them down and peg them into themselves to form the shoulders of the combined mode, and then flip the front of the helicopter mode up to form his bottom torso. Come to the back of the vehicle, or the figure, turn the arms so that the blade is pointing in the back with it being the sharp part of the blade laying up against the back like that and then just slide the other arm in it doesn't peg up or any it doesn't peg together or anything it just kind of sits here but it's fine i'll show you a little customization later that's pretty cool and then we just shove the head into the open socket like this and here we have battle trap from foot to head, Battle Trap looks freaking amazing. I am so happy with this figure, and I can't believe Hasbro pulled it off as well as they have. It's just wonderful engineering. Everything holds together well. Everything has strength to it. The only issue I have is the hips in the combined mode are a little loose, but that's from my own doing of overplaying with it. Nothing a little bit of floor polish won't fix. Possibility. Foot is posable. Swivel at the thigh, forward and back, in and out. Torso articulation. Shoulder articulation is on a ball joint. Ball joint in the elbow, no hand articulation. Head is on a swivel, just side to side movement. And size wise, here he is next to, or here it is next to a Legends class and a Deluxe class. So it's just a smidge smaller so it's just a smidge smaller than a current deluxe class figure. It's simply fantastic. It is so much fun. I am so happy with this set, and I cannot wait to see if Hasbro gives us a proper flywheels. That's a plain, red plane and a brown tank. Being that it's Toy Fair weekend, I'm really, 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 really hoping. Now, if they don't, I'm sure Takara will. Now... Remember what I said about the backpack. So the backpack is a little bit funky. I don't particularly care for it. Originally, I thought that maybe you could 
just futz with it a little bit and give it like a proper like propeller backpack you sort of can but it's not great so this way technically works it's a big bulky backpack but if you fold the one arm up put it back there and then fold the propeller arm up that way this does work and it does almost perfectly line up with the robot's head I mean if we turn it back that way okay there that works a little bit better so that does technically work so you can come up with a little bit of a custom fit for him to give the propeller some spinning action. And before we finish the review, let's go ahead and take a look at the cards here that the, each of the figures came with. Battle Slash and Road Trap. Alpha Trion Battle Slash rewrites history to put himself on top. And Onyx Road Trap. Onyx Road Trap. And Onyx Road Trap casts his mind across space to steal Autobot's secrets. Thank you so much for watching this video review. Please let me know what you think of the figure down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you love the video, hit the subscribe. And as always, guys, I'm Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you next time.